G'day One What Fly Squad, welcome back to another Thursday Trade Report. We're at Kaflavik Airport in south of Reykjavik. Today we're going to fly Air 737 MAX 8 from here to London Heathrow. We're just about to return our rental car, 6 foot 4 is doing the refueling. After that we're going to drop off the car and hop on the shuttle to the airport terminal. We just made it to the airport, it's really cold. Uh, it's minus 7 degrees Celsius or 19 degrees Fahrenheit. Keflavik Airport is the hub of Iceland Air. It's Iceland's international gateway. It's also a transit hub between North America and Europe. In the morning around 6am, large number of flights from Canada and America land into Keflavik. Then at around 8am, the planes will continue on their way to Europe. So if you're flying Iceland Air back to Europe, chances are you're leaving this early. Everything is automatic and self-serve, for Iceland Air check-in, Iceland Air staff are ready to help if you need any assistance. After checking in, we went straight for security. There was about a 15 minute wait today. If you're flying in business class, there's a fast track lane for you. We've now entered the duty free area. Iceland is not part of the EU, but for travel purposes, Iceland is part of the Schengen zone. So now that we've passed security, we still need to pass immigration. So be sure to leave enough time for that. There are more duty free and dining options within the Schengen zone. There are still some options after you've passed immigration, but options are limited. If you ever have the chance to visit Iceland, be sure to check out one of the many thermal baths the country has to offer. Immigration was empty, we went through within a minute. As I said earlier, there are still some food options after you've passed immigration, but there aren't many choices. Also, there's no water fountain available. Our flight will be boarding soon, let's go! We've got a bus gate today, we're just standing here waiting for our bus. People on the right are Saga Premium passengers, they get priority. Here's our aircraft to London. A five year old Iceland Air Boeing 737 MAX 8, Tango Foxtrot India Charlie Golf. This aircraft was formerly with Norwegian Air Shuttle. Iceland Air took over the ownership in 2022. Originally, we booked a 757-300 for this flight. Unfortunately, weeks before departure, they switched it to a Max 8. Morning. Welcome on board. My seat today is 22 Foxtrot. I'll go through the seat features quickly. We've got a touchscreen TV with a USB port and headphone jack. A tray table, quite tiny. You can move it back and forth, but you can't fold it. We've got a standard seat pocket, inside you'll find a magazine and menu, safety card as well. Big room is alright for me but not for 6 foot 4. There's no power outlet down there. Compared to many European airlines, this is pretty good. We've got a headrest and also TV. Iceland Air don't offer free food on board, so we got some food ourselves. We missed out on the free hotel breakfast today due to early departure, so the hotel gave us some takeaway. Good morning, dear passengers. Lord Cobalt, the captain of the Goodness, are with me on the flight. You see the first officer, Kayla Berks, and we are just for ready for departure. The estimated flight time to London in through two hours and 25 minutes. And uh, we're expecting nice and good weather, but also good to the simple fast and seat. The weather now in London is good, light southerly winds with overcast clouds, cloudy sky, temperature 12 degrees centigrade or about 54 the Fahrenheit scale. And the forecast is calling for a possibility of some uh, light rain. And uh, we do hope that you're completely seated and you will enjoy the flight and the service support. Thank you. Good morning, dear passengers. Welcome aboard this Icelander aircraft. Named uh, in Golf Hervey. The estimated flight time to London is 2 hours and 25 minutes. The pilot in command is Arnar Thor Gummenson. My name is Ilya and I'm the supervisor on this flight. Visible whenever seated or when the seatbelt sign is on. We'll provide extension seatbelts for emergency exits. 
before and after exits are equipped with the evacuation slides and overwing. The lights have been switched off for the takeoff. While we taxi to the runway, I'll show you the in flight entertainment. It's free of charge. For the system itself, you can choose Icelandic or English. There's Wi Fi on board, but you need to pay for internet access. You've got plenty of free movie and TV selections. Here's the flight map in a slideshow format. The in-flight service started half an hour after takeoff. For food, all items are purchasable. For drinks, you'll need to pay for beer and wine. But coffee, tea, soft drinks and juice are complimentary. So before takeoff, I had the fruit bowl that the hotel provided. Now I'm having some biscuits and sandwiches. If you're new to my channel, I'm so glad you made it to this video. Every single week, I upload a trip report like this one, so be sure to press that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss out. And while you're at it, please like, comment and share. We're now flying over Scotland, not far away from London. The crew just came back to the cabin to offer us water. We've now started our descent into London Heathrow and I'll quickly conclude this trip port right here right now. Our journey today started at Keflavik Airport. Check-in and backdrop were self-serve and pretty straightforward. Security took about 15 minutes, not too bad. Immigration less than a minute. The moment you stepped on board, you can tell that it's a new plane. 
The TV and Ofe Lockerbins are large, legroom isn't the best, but quite good for European standards. It's worth mentioning again that we got a TV and head res, which are rare for short haul European flights. Overall, it was an uneventful flight, the cabin crew were nice, we got our free drinks, although I wish that some food was free. So that's it for the conclusion today, now for your info. The airfare between Keflavik and London Heathrow isn't too bad at the moment, basic economy currently starts at £170. There are two daily flights operated by Iceland Air to London Heathrow, one is operated by the Max 8, another one is operated by the 767. Thank you very much for watching today, I hope that you enjoyed watching this one. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and share, we're now going round and round over London, that's BA284 and A380 coming from San Francisco. When we eventually touch down and disembark, I'll show you a little London vlog. See you later, bye bye. Welcome to London! We hold the British and Aussie passports, so within minutes we went through immigration. We're staying at the Hilton London Heathrow Terminal 4 for the next few nights, so we'll be taking the train over.
So take the free train to Terminal 4, and then it's about a five minute walk to Hilton. Hello there, welcome to Hilton Terminal 4, Heathrow Airport. Quick lavatory tour of this King Executive Room. Nice and bright, unfortunately no bathtub and no rain shower, but you know, he can put the shower head quite high. Oh wait, there's rain shower just up there. <laughs> you got Crabtree and Evelyn products. Last time when I was here, they're disposable. Now they've switched it to bigger bottles, so you can't steal. And it's more environmentally friendly. Luggage rack, coffee machine, the map of Europe, the room, the view, meh, nothing too special, it's very English. Oh shit. We've got two bottles of water and lounge access, we'll check that out in a sec. This hotel has an executive lounge, and breakfast here is really good. We're gonna go to central London right now, gonna take the train. Please stay away from the yellow lights. Please bring your bag back from the yellow lights, thank you. We went to Leicester Square in Chinatown because my uncle works there, so I went to visit him. We went to a Hong Kong restaurant and had some lunch. My mum used to work in that very restaurant. It's a really traditional restaurant, they only take cash. So that's it for today, tomorrow we'll come back to London. Thanks for watching, and a big shout out to all my patrons and PayPal Me supporters for your continuous support. See you next week, bye bye.